Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Julian from AWS. Welcome to episode 13 of my podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. In this episode, we're going to move away from machine learning for a second, and we're going to focus on a new service that was announced at reInvent a few months ago. This service is Kendra. Kendra is a search engine that makes it really easy to create an index from data located in different sources and then query that index using natural language. Really, really cool service. And of course, it is powered by deep learning under the hood, but you don't need to know the first thing about this. Let's not wait. Let me show you how to use it. Let's take a look at the console first. This is the Kendra console, and the first step is to create an index. Uh, I created one already because this operation takes a bit of time, but let me show you how to create a new one. So basically, simply click on Create Index, give it a name, a description if you'd like, a role, because as you can expect, Kendra needs permission to fetch data from the different data sources. We're going to look at those in a second, but basically S3, RDS, etc. So you need to have permissions. Okay, so you can create a, a role here or you can use an existing one. Um, just make sure you have permission to access your buckets, etc. etc. Okay, uh, click on create and that's it. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna run for a while, uh, generating that uh, new index, and then you can start adding data to it. Okay, so my index has already been created. All right, it's active. Blah blah blah, and now you need to add data sources. So data sources can be either an S3 bucket. Uh, an RGS database or SharePoint online. Okay. And here I simply added an S3 bucket. And again, this is exactly what you would think. Give it a name, pass the location of your uh, bucket. Uh, you can pass metadata. So if you have extra information on those files, uh, you can have a separate uh, file. Uh, in that bucket with that extra information. So here, um, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just passing uh, bulk data, uh, the I am role, and a sync schedule. So you can go from on demand to hourly, daily, weekly, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, click next, and that's it. Okay. So super easy, and the same for RDS. Right, and you can pick the engine type and of course the connection information to go and uh, and fetch the data and the run schedule. Okay, so nothing nothing weird here. So let's take a look at my S3 bucket. This is what I have in there: uh, a bunch of PDF files, uh, a couple of uh, doc files. Um, these are just plain text. This is the 20 news group data set that you may know. So uh, basically a collection of uh, uh, text messages from uh, news groups. And what else? Uh, I have some slides. Yes, <laughs> some of my PowerPoint decks are in there. And I have a ton of uh, wiki media files okay about 50,000 files or something so that's a, a very small fraction of uh, of wikipedia here uh, so if we look at the documentation actually for kendra we can see the types of documents that you can index so uh, html powerpoint word plain text pdf so i have, I have a bit of each and uh, as uh, you'll see uh, you can also add uh, questions and answers. Okay, so structured information. If you want to have uh, really precise, uh, predefined answers to uh, common questions, you can do that as well. Okay, so all these are supported at the moment. As we saw, we have a run schedule for sources. Here, I'm running on demand. So if I clicked on sync now, then the index would be refreshed 
with uh, the data in that bucket. Uh, I run this a couple of times and I can see the number of documents that have been uh, uh, added or updated. So that's my total number of documents, over 57,000 here, okay? So super simple. All right, um, FAQs maybe? So FAQs are easy as well. All you have to do is upload a CSV file with a column for question, a column for answer, and a column for URL if, uh, if you have that, if you want to uh, add extra information to the answer. Okay, just put that in an S3 bucket, upload it. Okay, and this becomes an FAQ that your index will point to when, uh, when uh, user requests hit the questions. Okay, um, before we query, you can also use facets. So basically facets are uh, fields that you can use to filter your content. So here I have some uh, predefined fields like uh, uh, document title and uh, last update, view count, etc., etc. So I could make those uh, visible in my search uh, U, uh, UI and, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the, the users could filter their request based on that. Okay, you can add custom fields as well. Um, this is a little too involved for this uh, short demo, uh, but please take a look at the documentation. It's really, really not difficult. So once you've indexed your data sources, of course, you want to query. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we have a, a built-in search console here and well let's try and run some queries and i'm going to use natural language because that's what we do right we don't want to use keywords and complex query languages we just want to use natural language so what is amazon SageMaker? and i see this amazon kendra suggested answer which um, which is really the best answer that Kendra can find. So what did it find? Um, it found text in one of my PowerPoint decks, and this is actually in speaker notes, okay? And as you can see, it's highlighting the, the, the text that it thinks is the best answer. And well, this is actually a very good answer, okay? This is proper language, not just a hit on a document telling you, well, yeah, I found keywords in there, but is that really what you want? But Here. the next ones are more, you know, keywords that are matched. So I could say, well, this is a good one, thanks. Okay, I like this answer. Um, let's try another one. Okay, so there is a feature in SageMaker called Pipe Mode, and I'm sure it's in those documents. Let's take a look. All right, so here again, I have a suggested answer. So really the, the top answer with a proper piece of text. And this is really the definition of pipe mode, right? Pipe mode, a feature that streams data from Amazon S3 to training instances. And this is in one of my Word documents, okay? That's pretty cool. All right, and then the rest is mostly keywords. So as we can see, Kendra is really able to uh, uh, um, highlight the top uh, the top answer the one that really contains natural language that answers the question okay not just matching keywords okay let's try and find information in those uh, 50,000 files uh, so for the record I indexed uh, articles uh, starting with th <laughs> so that's why you're going to see a lot of that it's really again just a small subset of Wikipedia um, so let's try that one Who's Thad Jones? Do you know? Okay, so Thad Jones is an American jazz trumpeter, composer, and band leader. Okay, again, um, this is a really good answer because um, this is exactly what I was looking for. And, uh, and the fact that the title and the file name and everything contains Thad Jones obviously helps uh, Kendra find out the right answer for me. Okay, so let's try a few more. Maybe I want to know um, what instrument does that Jones play? Let's see what we have here. 
And again, this is a really good answer because uh, it does pull one of the third joint article, but we can see it's highlighting again um, the, the meaningful words. So Thad Jones is in there because obviously it's in my query and Trumpet is highlighted. So there's definitely an association here between Thad Jones and Trumpet, which is exactly what my query was about. Okay, so once again, um, there was nothing in my query that said Trumpet. Uh, Kendra was able to understand the context of my query and find the right answer and highlight the right bit of text inside the answer. Okay, maybe a last one. So uh, where was that Jones born? Let's see what we have. And here we get the actual answer, right? Pontiac, Michigan is highlighted. Uh, and this is really nice because obviously it is in, uh, in the Wikipedia article for Thad Jones, but here Kendra can uh, extract that information and uh, promote it right and it's uh, it's uh, really extracted from the article so again we see uh, natural language processing at work we see context being extracted from the query and um, uh, text strings extracted from the top ranking article pointing me at yes this is exactly your answer okay all right. I used the console here, but of course we could use the CLI. So uh, let's take a look. We have a bunch of Kendra APIs. Okay, here they are. Let's list indexes. And let's not argue whether indexes or indices is the right word. That's one for the scholars. Uh, I see we have an index here. Okay, let's see if we can query it. Kendra query index ID and a query all right so where was that Jones born okay and I get a JSON answer uh, which is just a JSON representation of what we see here right so a list of answers with uh, URLs to the documents and offsets to the relevant highlights, etc., etc. Okay, so there you go. Uh, this is uh, this is the 10 minute or 15 minute demo uh, to Kendra. Super, super easy to use. Um, pretty powerful. Deep learning under the hood, as you can see. But uh, just a couple of clicks, a couple of API calls and you can start indexing your data, okay? Uh, S3, RDS, SharePoint Online, and uh, more connectors in the futures, I'm sure, okay? Now, this is the test console. Uh, what would you do next? Well, I guess the next step would be to start integrating those different widgets in your own application, okay? So we have a bunch of, uh, of documents here that show you how to do that. I'm not going to go deep on that because that would make the video too long and in involves uh, front end skills, which I definitely don't have. OK, so sorry about that. Uh, but basically, you can go and fetch those different components and integrate them. Uh, we have a, a sample app that shows you how to do that. So if you are a front end person, um, you'll get it in no time you know me eh. <laughs> it's a challenge for sure okay the last thing I want to say is uh, please check out the the service page uh, you can find more information on features uh, pricing which is important Kendra is probably um, more expensive than the uh, services you're used to so make sure you understand pricing before you start indexing uh, tons of documents and of course you'll find uh, customer stories here as well all right, okay. this is it for this episode. I hope you liked it and learned a few things. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon with more videos. Until then, fuck the virus and keep rocking. <laughs>